All right, so in today's video, we're going to talk about the CSR A64215, or without the A, just the CSR64215 module. I've uh, purchased one of these around one year ago, and it didn't have absolutely any audio output. And in case you guys are having the same issues, I have finally gotten around to checking what exactly the problem is, because the unit would, would be seen, um, it would connect, the LEDs would blink, you could program it, so I don't know, it was quite suspicious. I did get my money back because at the time I didn't have a, um, a programmer, but nonetheless. So yeah, what you'll need for this video, uh, for this uh, process to work, is a CSR USB SPI programmer. So one of these things, they're around 15 bucks at the moment on uh, sites such as AliExpress or uh, eBay. So this is how mine looks. It's actually a different one from what I've used in, in previous videos, but works just as well. Pinouts are a bit different though. Now, regardless, so um, yeah, let's uh, let's jump on over to the pinout. So this module actually shares the pinout with the uh, eighty-six thirty-five, and um, yeah, so this is basically all we all we have, right? The the things are clearly marked so on this board, they're definitely clearly marked. And the only thing to, to note is SPI PCM is actually SPI enable, apart from that. Um, not much. And the enable pin you have to connect via a 10K resistor to uh, VBAT, to the positive rail. Alright, so now that that's out of the way. Alright, so basically on the computer it's quite straightforward. This time around you can run this under Windows 10 64 bit. It should work under uh, under 32 as well, and you'll have two things to install. The first is Blue Suit, um, which will uh, give us PS Tool, very compatible tool. And um, over here we'll hit Dump. Um, yeah, and basically this will save all the parameters that are currently on the module. So if you fuck anything up. You won't be able to break it because you'll just be able to resort back to this. So I will actually upload mine in the description, but just in case. And while we're here, we can go name and change the name. So you can put anything you want here. It can actually be pretty long. I think it goes even double than this. Uh, you'll hit set and then reset and close. So this is going to reset the module so it takes in the new settings. And next up, we're going to install this. And this will give us the universal front end. This is for the equalizer. And uh, check my how to set the equalizer video. Should be more or less the same. Um, but you will need this particular version, not the one in the equalizer video. Keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to go into the config tool and uh, go select device. We should have this if our um, if our uh, CSR USB SPI converter is correctly identified. And another thing to know whether it has successfully read the things or not, um, at the beginning, you should say unassigned. If you go read device, which is the first step you should do anyway, it should go, uh, go to something else. So we'll expand this menu and go to routing of all things and go audio plugin. And this will usually be I squared S. So in that case, you won't hear any sound at all. So you need to change this to DAC right device and reset device and then you should get sound so if you have any other questions or or i've missed something uh, feel free to leave them down in the comments good luck and have a good one